Welcome to this YSL video tutorial. This is part two of a four part series teaching you how to create custom fields in Microsoft Project. In this part of the series what you'll learn is how to add a calculation to a custom field. We'll start by adding simple calculations using basic arithmetic. The most important thing to understand in this section is how you can refer to field names in a formula. Once we've got a handle on the basics, we'll move on to show you how you can use functions in calculated fields. We'll show you how you can find out what functions you have available, how to insert a function into a calculation, and then we'll, we'll use a worked example using the if function. So let's get started. The example file we'll use will be the same as the one we used in part one of this series. So it's Santa's list of top 10 toys for Christmas 2011. The calculation that we're going to create is the VAT of the standard rate for all of our toys. Not exactly the most exciting example, I'm sure you'll agree, but it's a neat easy way to show you the basics of creating calculations. To start with, we need a new custom field. So just as we did in part one, head to the project tab and choose custom fields. Again, we need to just choose which type of table we're going to insert our field into. It's going to be a resource table again. And we also need to choose what data type to use. It definitely isn't going to be text this time. I'm going to choose cost from this list. It's worthwhile mentioning I could also choose number. The advantage of choosing cost is that I'll get a currency symbol and a couple of decimal places automatically. So I'm going to choose cost. I can then choose a field to rename. I'll choose cost one, click the rename button and type in the new field name, VAT. Nice and easy to spell at least. The next job is to create a formula or a calculation to work out the value for this field. I can do that by clicking on the formula button and that will launch the expression builder dialog box. My calculation goes into the big white text box and if I knew the field names that I was going to type in, I could literally just type them in right away. The thing to be careful of, however, is that the field names that you want to refer to aren't necessarily the same as the column headings. I'd like to type in, I'd like my calculation to work out 20% of the standard rate, which is the current UK VAT rate. But I can't just type in STD rate. To be absolutely certain I'm getting the correct field name, I'm going to use the field list button. I can click on the drop down arrow to see a list of categories of fields. And imagine that the standard rate is part of the cost category. So when I hover the mouse over that option, I'll see a list of the individual fields in that category. And there it is, that's the one that I want, standard rate. All I need to do now is click on that option and Project will type it in for me. Again, if I knew this syntax, I could have typed that in myself without using the field button. The next thing I need to do is multiply this value by 0 0.2. So I can either type in an asterisk using my keyboard, or I'm going to cheat a little bit and click on this little asterisk symbol. I'll need to type in 0 0.2 at this point, and that's my calculation. All I need to do now is click OK. Now watch out for the little warning that pops up when I do this. Whenever you create a calculated field, Project warns you that any existing data is going to be replaced. Well, that's absolutely fine, that's exactly what we want to happen. So I'm going to choose OK. I choose OK again. And finally, I can insert my field into the table. I'll do that as last time by right clicking at the top of an available column, choosing insert column, and then looking for my field in the list. I think I'll find it more easily if I look at the cost section here. There it is, cost 1 VAT. I select that option, and there we go. You can see that it's already calculated the values. It's worthwhile mentioning that if any of my values change here as well, any of the dependent values change, then the field will automatically recalculate. I'm going to increase the rate of fidget friends from about £55 to 60 When I hit enter, I'll see that my VAT rate changes as well. So that's simple calculated fields. So now that you've seen how to create basic calculated fields, you can perform any sort of basic arithmetic. What I'd like to show you next is how to take things a bit further and create much more powerful calculations by using the built-in functions. The next example we'll create is actually going to involve a couple of columns. First of all, we'll create a simple number field that allows a user to type in the order quantity for any particular toy. 
and then we'll create a field that calculates the order total for any toy. It will simply multiply the quantity by the standard rate. The twist is that if we've ordered more than a thousand units of any toy, we're going to apply a 10% discount to that order. So let's get started with the simple number field. Head to the project menu and choose custom fields. I need to select the number data type. I'm going to customize number one and rename it. I'm going to call it quantity. I don't need to modify any of the additional settings. Simply click OK and then insert that field into the table. And there it is. I'll type in some sample data, let's say 1,100 fidget friends. We'll have 800 kiddie zoom twist cameras. And I honestly can't believe this is popular, but let's have 1,500 units of doggy do games. OK, the next step is to create the more complex calculation. To do that, I'm going to head to the project menu, choose custom fields, and this time it's going to be a cost. I need to head to cost 2, I don't want to modify the VAT formula that I created earlier on. I shall rename this field, I shall call it order total. And then I can click on the formula button. And here I am in the formula dialog box again. The basic logic here, if I've ordered more than a thousand units, I would like to multiply the quantity by 90% of the standard rate. Otherwise, I'd simply like to multiply the quantity by the standard rate. The traditional way to perform calculations like this is to use the IF function. And you might have encountered this if you've used Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access before. To make sure we're getting the IF function correct, we're going to use the function drop-down list here. And just like with the fields list, you'll see a list of categories of functions. The IF function is in the general category. And for people familiar with Excel, just be very careful. IF in project is spelt with two I's, just the same as it is in Microsoft Access, actually. It still has the same three arguments, though. An expression, which is a logical test. What to do if that logical test is true. And then what to do if that logical test is false. I can click on the IF function and project will insert the structure of that function. What I need to do next is modify each of these placeholder arguments. So where it says expression, I can double click to highlight the word expression. My test is, is the quantity greater than 1000? I'm going to use my field button to find my number fields, my custom number fields, and then the one that I modified earlier, quantity. I can then test if that is greater than a value of 1000 and there's my logical test. Now I'm going to replace the true part. If that's true, I'd like to multiply the quantity by 90% of the standard rate. So to do this, I'm going to type quantity. I could select this from the list again, but I'm going to type it in just to prove that it's possible this time. Then a multiply symbol. Then I'm going to open a set of round brackets or parentheses to perform a separate calculation. 0 0.9 multiplied by, and I'd like to find the standard rate field. So I'm going to find the field folder, find the cost category, and in there I can find the standard rate. I then need to close that set of round brackets, and that's the true part. The false part is much easier. If I haven't ordered more than a thousand units, then all I need to do is multiply the quantity. I can find that again in the field list. Number, custom number, quantity, multiplied by field, cost, standard rate. And there we have it. It's a little bit difficult to read, but essentially it says what I want it to do. If the quantity is more than a thousand, multiply the quantity by 90% of the standard rate, otherwise multiply the quantity by the standard rate. I can choose OK. I'll get the same standard warning that I'm going to replace any existing values in that field. I can choose OK. Choose OK once more and finally insert my order total field into the table. And there it is. I'll need to widen the column so that I can see all the information. And there we go.
It's a little bit difficult to spot if this one's actually doing the correct thing, but I should find if I do 1,000, I get 60,000 pounds order total. If I increase that to 1,001, I actually get a much lower total, proving that the discount value is working. And that's how to use functions in a calculated field in Microsoft Project. If you've enjoyed this training video, you can find many more online training resources at www.wisel.co.uk.